Hi, this is Joe from Gentleman Stationer. Welcome back. I know it's been a while on the channel. Um, so I've been on vacation for a while. I, was, I took a month sabbatical from my day job, which gave me the opportunity to travel and also to kind of reevaluate where I am with the channel and where I am with the main website and to see what new types of content that I'd like to do. One of those things is additional video content that is a companion to the main pen reviews and articles that I have up on the main Gentleman Stationer website. Um, this particular video that I'm gonna do today is a companion video to a review that I did of this pen, which I have here, and that is the Santini Libra. It's an ebonite pen made by Santini, Santini Italia, which is an Italian pen company um, that makes all of their pens in-house in their, in their workshop. Um, this particular pen is a larger pen, as you can tell. It's, um, it's got some size on it. Um, it's made out of ebonite, which is one of three things that I really want to do this video to hammer home. Um, the first point is the material, how beautiful it is. Santini works with a lot of ebonite and acrylic. They've become known for their ebonite pens. They tend to do them in runs of 33 or somewhere around that number. This one is number 13. Um, this particular pen is lent to me by a friend. It's not mine. So, um, you know, I don't own it. I don't know what this ebonite is called. Um, and I, when I went to the Santini website, I could not find it available. So I don't think this is a currently available model. That said, they've got a ton of gorgeous stuff on that website, and I'm very tempted to pick one up for myself. Um, the second point, in addition to the material that I wanted to do the video to show, is um, really to give you an idea of how big this pen is. It is a good size pen. Um, I mean, it's I would call this a full size, maybe not quite an oversized pen, but it's definitely big. What's surprising about it to me is how well balanced it is. It's not heavy at all. Ebonite tends to be a lighter material. Um, the piston mechanism that they put in here is not made of brass. Um, brass pistons tend to be very heavy, so I'm assuming it's not made of brass. The, um, you know, this one is still fairly fully inked. Um, it, it, there's not a lot of weight to it and it's well, you know, the weight is well distributed in the hand. So your hand's not gonna get tired when you're writing with this pen. Um, with a pen of this size, it's also not gonna post. I'm not even gonna try to post it, um, the cap on the barrel, because one, this isn't my pen and I don't wanna scratch it. And two, I mean, it would just make the pen absurdly large. To give you a comparison, I'll put it, on my little Galen leather pen rest here next to a Mont Blanc 149 that's been uh, given an Arushi treatment by Studio Bocamondu. The, um, as you can see, the Santini is longer than the Mont Blanc 149, maybe not quite as girthy. Um, the Mont Blanc 149 is definitely a heavier pen because it has that brass Mont Blanc piston, which gives, a lot of, gives it a lot of weight. But, you know, the Santini is, I would say, a comparably sized writing instrument. Another size comparison I can do. I have a Sailor 1911 large here, which is not a small pen by any means. Um, it's probably more akin to a Mont Blanc 146, which is the size down from this. But the Santini is much larger than that. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you um, on video about the Santini. I'm going to do a writing sample with this pen as well. And I'll break from this video to kind of set that up, and I'll do a writing sample on this right notepad's paper. Um, and when I come back, I'll talk a little bit more about the nib, the ebonite feed, and how that works together um, to give you a pretty nice writing experience with the Santini. Um, it's a very wet writer, um, and it's what, given that the pen's so well balanced in the hand, it's a really nice writing instrument if you're looking for something that'll allow you to write for long periods of time. All right, so we're back, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a writing sample with this nib from Santini Italia. As you can see, the nib is um, a 100% in-house nib. Um, Santini makes their own nibs um, from, this is 18 karat gold. It's tastefully engraved. It has the Santini logo, some scroll work, and the year 1998, which is the year Santini started making pens. Um, you flip it over, you'll see the ebonite feed, which means that this this particular pen and nib will get very good ink flow. Uh, this pen has very consistent ink flow. It's a smooth writer. It puts a lot of ink on the page. It makes it very pleasant to write with. Um, I enjoy it. 
the nib, like many Italian nibs and many handmade nibs, um, does have a more tactile feel than you will get from the nibs you may be used to writing with, like a standard Yovo or Bach. Um, by tactile, I don't mean scratchy. It's not a scratchy nib at all. It's very pleasant to use. Um, I would say it's similar to an Aurora, if you've ever written with an Aurora fountain pen. It's just not going to be glassy smooth. Um, if you like that, um, I would suggest, and you still want to go with Santini, I would suggest maybe getting a broader nib than the fine nib that I have here. But I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of how this nib writes. Because it's a gold nib, it is slightly springier than a standard stainless steel nib or even a, you know, say a some other some other gold nibs I've written with. This one does have a lot of bounce to it. Um, it's not a flex nib. Don't try to flex it and get a lot of line variation. You will splay the tines. But um, I'll kind of give you a, a short little writing sample here so you can see what I'm talking about. Review ink I'm using here is actually another, um, is an ink from another Italian company that makes their own pens and nibs. It's from Scribo. And the ink is Scribo Grigio, which is a nice gray blue. Um, in this pen, uh, given how dark it is um, and the dark line that it's leaving, it looks almost black, but it's really a dark blue gray. Um, the review paper. is something that we actually carry in our own shop and which handles this ink really well actually it's right notepads um landscape notebook and as you can see you know this notebook is a landscape notebook meaning it's turned sideways and you can put it underneath your keyboard i use these a lot to take notes so here is, um, here's a writing sample of this pen. As you can see, it's a very wet writer. Um, you're going to want to use good paper with it. If you use um, cheap paper or copy paper or recycled paper, this pen is going to bleed like crazy, which is not unusual for a gold nib pen with an ebonite feed. They're designed to put a lot of ink on the page. Um, again, <clears throat> I found this one to be a very pleasant writer. Um, I'm really glad that I've had the opportunity to use this pen. And I'm considering getting a Santini pen myself. Uh, I, I don't yet know which particular model I'm going to go with, whether it's going to be the Libra, like this one here, or whether I'm going to go with the Nonagon, which is a nine-sided faceted pen that looks really cool. I'll have links to all the different pens and websites that I talk about in this, in this, uh, in this video, um, in the notes uh, on YouTube. I also am going to link to the written review that I did of this pen, and there will be all the links and um, and relevant information there. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please uh, subscribe to the channel. It helps us get additional visibility. Also, consider visiting our store. We do not sell um, Santini pens. These are only sold directly from Santini. Therefore, we're not affiliated with them in any way. As I said, this was lent to me by a friend for review. We do sell stationary products through our own shop. It's how we support our channel and our website. So if you would visit and even consider backing us on Patreon, we'd greatly appreciate it. Many thanks.